Hey everyone, welcome back to Grab a Pint with I'm Mike, and today we're going to talk about Wachusett Brewing. Now these guys started brewing craft beer way back in the 90s, before the big craze that it is today. So let's crack a cold one and begin their story. So let's rewind a little bit back to the 1990s, where the founders, Ned LaFortune, Peter Quinn, and Kevin Buckler, all met at Worcester Polytech Institute in Worcester, Mass. Now, they knew back then that there was an absence of craft beer in the Worcester County area, and after college, they wanted to make a beer that would impress the college town of Worcester. So they started home brewing on Ned's family farm where he grew up, October Farm. You can see where the logo comes from with the Wachusett Mountain in the background. Now, after draining the water on the family farm on multiple occasions, they were forced to go out on their own. And down the street, Wachusett Brewing was founded in 1994. Now, to visit, it's just over an hour's ride northwest of Boston, nestled in a small town of Westminster, Mass. As you drive in there, it's located across from a local soccer field. With nothing built up around it, it gives it that small town country feel. As soon as you pull up, you're going to see an old beer kettle. Plenty of parking, and as you can see, the guys are helping you out. Now, these guys with degrees in engineering and biology handcrafted three of the vessels in the startup of the brewery. And for the first few years, they worked around the clock. With help from family and friends and volunteers, they bottled up their own beers and delivered the beer in an old delivery truck. And the first beer to roll out would be named after the area, Country Ill. The founders liked to keep a lot of things local. And then their first big client was Wachusett Mountain, landed in 1995, selling their beers in the ski lodge. Fast forward to 2015, and the brew yard expanded to produce four times as much beer in producing 30,000 barrels. And in 2019, Wachusett Brewing is the third largest brewery in Massachusetts, behind the likes of Sam Adams, Harpoon Brewery, with Lord Hobo in fourth. And there was plans to expand the Westminster Brew Yard, but because of COVID, this has been pushed back. There's another brew yard in Worcester, Mass, within walking distance of the Polar Park hosting many events, including the debut season of the Woo Sox. Now let's take a look inside the Westminster Brew Yard. As soon as you walk in, plenty of room, and you're gonna make your way over to the Airstream trailer where the bartenders are set up. Out back, there's a temporary tent, about 15 to 20 picnic tables. And as you can see, there's a potential staging area for music. And out back, plenty of room, as you can see, a nice little fire pit and the food, really good. Nice, big, thick hamburger. As you can see here, up on the board, plenty of their beers. Some you can only find in the brew yard. And the coolest part, the rarest of the rare, is a brewer series by the Brewmasters. I can't tell you what it is because it's always changing. It's an experiment of recipes by the Brewmasters. They have several flavors that you can find year-round. They also offer limited editions and season packs. At the time of the shooting, it was summer, so I picked up a summer pack. So welcome back to the bar. We have two packs over here. As you saw, I picked up the summer pack. I also had the IPA pack here at the bar. You got your Glory, which is a mango, pineapple, and pear. Yeah, you got your Wally, which is a, a citrus. Then you have your Mass Soul, which is a passion fruit and pineapple. And my personal favorite, which is Wally Juice. It's a blood orange, but it's a hazier Wally, a sequel to it, so to be. And then over here, it's more of a, a fruit pack. You got your blood orange, you have your strawberry, you have your summer, and you have your blueberry. Now, along with these, they have other ones too. Here we have the Country Hard Salsa lemonade series raspberry strawberry blueberry and lime now out of everything that i've shown you today my favorite is wally juice 
it comes in the IPA pack or on its own. Now go to your local liquor store, pick something up from these guys, or if you're in the Westminster area or in the Worcester area as well, go to one of their brew yards, you won't be disappointed. I want to thank everyone for watching, and if you like what you saw today, hit that subscribe button. Cheers.